I'm Bruce Young. I've been a fly fisherman for 30 some years. I'm passionate about the teaching and the uh, ability to bring new people into the sport, help them get where they want to go. And my affiliation with Alamo Fly Fishers is that I've been active with them for 12 to 15 years, been the past president, been the vice president taught a lot of teaching, uh, both tying and casting, and uh, mentor to a good portion of the guys in the club. The park is located on the Colorado River uh, around Bend. Bend is basically a post office, gas station, country store that is on the Colorado River and the road that runs between Lampasas and Lano happens to go through Bend. The state park is about eight miles from Bend. Peggy and Jesse say hi. I love Welcome. <laughs> we typically have between 30 and 60 or 80 people come up and fish. Uh, there's usually eight or more people camping on a campsite. So there's oftentimes eight to ten campsites of campers, which means that we have half the campground. It is very much a family outing. It is very much uh, welcome for beginners. It's one of those things where we make it very comfortable, whether you have gear or not. There's enough people that cook and enjoy being out camping. We've had children in strollers to children that are in their 90s. The annual outing is known as the David Young Memorial Outing. It centers around chasing the white bass. The weather very much dictates when they're going to be very active. It typically falls when the blue bonnets are in bloom and the red buds are in bloom. Fishing equipment to bring, obviously you're going to need plenty of warm clothes. You're going to need waders on colder years. Um, it's a good idea to have a waiting staff. Um, you should probably have a rod from a three to a five weight rod is the most common. Uh, there's a lot of fours to get, that get used. They're very comfortable to land the fish, uh, but there are enough flex and enough fight out of the fish that it makes them very enjoyable to, to catch. White bass tend to be minnow eaters. They will eat insects, uh, but their main forage when they're in the river is minnows. So most of the things that we're throwing are mimicking a minnow of some sort. These are some of the flies that we use for white bass. And different conditions will require different things for the fish to be able to see them. And usually when the water is clear, uh, you're going to use something that actually has some color and we can vary the sink rate by the eye. So the heavier the eye, the faster it's gonna to sink to the bottom. And we can fish a little bit deeper or in a little faster current and have it swing deep. As it gets dark, the old adage of a dark day, a dark lure certainly applies. But we have an added feature here at Bend that happens Quite frequently when the spawn is on heavy, uh, the fish as well as the humans stir the silt up and we start to go to patterns that are much brighter and flashier so the fish can find them in the off-colored water. These are laughingly called naked ladies. 
These are going to be Clauser minnows. And these are going to be marabou minnows. When I approach a river looking for fish in the river, I'm going to look for holes that the fish can stop and get out of the current. They're typically a lake fish. They swim very well in the current, but they can't stay there for a long period of time. They are going to move into pockets to get out of the fast current. They're going to hug the bottom. They're going to be behind rocks. They're going to be in eddies where they can get out of the fast current. And oftentimes that's where I prefer to chase them. You can chase them in deeper water that's more than waist deep and catch a lot of fish out of it. But I find it a little more challenging and a lot more exciting to catch them in and around the rocks where they're coming up to be active and to spawn. Just getting ready for the evening party. On Saturday night we have a fish fry potluck. Either one or more of us bring a large fryer and we cook up potatoes and fish uh, for the fish fry and the whole 30 to 60 or how many this year we were at 47 I think uh, all came together onto one campsite uh, we borrow a couple of extra tables to bring in uh, everybody brings a dish to pass this spinach salad has uh, strawberries and walnuts to go in there and we fry up the fish and with a little luck we can all eat at the same time white bass is great Mm. Do they taste different when they're caught with minnows? Yes, with flies they, they're much tastier. <laughs> That's a good thing. After all, it's about the fight. The tug is the drug. <laughs> 